Simplified pulley systems don't go much beyond the Newton's laws of motion and the work energy equivalence principle. Still, these questions are considered very tough. And that's just because people don't understand what really happens. The best way to understand these is to see how this pulley system actually operates. Like this. Let's try to solve it. Examine the assumptions for that now. Now to solve, the first thing we need to do is to mark out various physical variables in the problem, which is nothing but the accelerations of the bodies and the tensions of two separate strings. At A, I am putting tension T and T dash to the second string here. Forgetting the relationship between T and T dash, I take the free body diagram of pulley 2 here. You might have guessed that the pulley 2 was in the same acceleration as the body M. So I've got 2T minus T dash equals mass of the pulley into acceleration A. But hey, this pulley 2 is massless. So the equation becomes T dash equals to 2T. Now instead of using the length constraint expression, we'll be using a principle that the total work done by tension on the system is zero. That is summation T dot X equal to zero. Applying this to our system, we get 2T dot X minus T dot X1 minus T dot X2 equal to zero. Solving, you'll get X equals X1 plus X2 by two and differentiating it twice, you get acceleration A equals A1 plus A2 by two. Now that we got the relationship between the different accelerations of the objects, I'll go into the free body diagrams of each of the objects. Let's start with FBD of M1 here. So with that, if I analyze, I get M1 G minus T equals M1 A1. Now let's move on to the FBD of M2. There, the expression will be M2 G minus T equals M2 A2. Now move on to the FBD of the M here. You get 2T minus MG sin theta equals MA. Use all these expressions, simplify, factorize, and hence, you get the solution. 